Hello and welcome to uh, Blackpool. This is Upside Down Head Travels. Uh, so this weekend we have got, finally, the opening of the new uh, tram link from North Train Station to Talbot Road and the promenade. So I thought, I thought I'd start the video down by the train station because this is going to change quite a bit, I think, over the next, uh, next few months. So the barriers are still up for the tunnel through to the new tram stop. So this tunnel, I think, is going to be a bit of a shelter for uh, the homeless, unfortunately. So this is uh, a few days before the opening of the new link from Blackpool North train station to the promenade with the opening of the new tram line opening on Sunday the 16th, 2024. So it is pretty much to the day, 123 years since it last opened, as in its first day. Uh, and that went through to 1936. So there's a lot of reports that says that there was no, that the tram stopped going down Talbot Road in the 60s. Uh, it was actually um, 1936 when the Leighton uh, line closed down. So we still had tram, uh, we still had trams coming from North Train Station into the 60s, but they went down Dixon Road. So I need to be careful because there's a bit of an incident down here today. So I want to make sure that I don't, cap don't uh, capture that. Uh, so I think over the next, next two to three months, unfortunately, I think you'll see the business for the taxi drivers from North Train Station uh, go down quite a bit. So I'm going to make my way down Talbot Road and I'm going to sh share with you, so I'm going to share with you some of my concerns that I've got. So I'm not 100% sure if having trams running up and down Talbot Road is really a good idea. So Talbot Road on a normal day today is quite... Uh, quite busy with cars, taxis, buses, bikes and then all of a sudden we're going to throw a tram up and down every half an hour to add to that. So if you're going to make a journey now down top of Oldham through town you need to be aware that from Sunday the 16th of June 2024 we're going to have to deal with trams so over the last few months we have had trams just testing the line and, and doing VIP runs but as from Sunday the 16th at 7.45 the first tram departs the Holiday Inn tram stop North Train Station tram stop and then every half an hour through the day through till around about 11 o'clock at night Is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? Only time will tell. But when I've looked through the history of the trams in Blackpool, so for those who don't know, Blackpool is the home of the trams. This is where it all started back in the 1800s. Uh, a lot of uh, towns and cities took trams on after that, and then they stopped. Uh, Manchester, late 90s they reintroduced theirs but Blackpool has been uh, ever present so on Sunday these barriers will come down for good I say 7.45 Sunday the 16th 2024 that's when it all starts again the last trams that came to the North Station actually came down Dixon Road so for those who don't know the area or even those who do so Dixon Road runs straight pretty much from where the train station is down to Ginn Square but uh, them, uh, them trams stopped in the 60s of which the, the last 
stop was actually by where Funny Girls is now. So another walk down Salbert Road now. And I'm going to share some of my concerns. Okay, only time will tell. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? So one of the first things that's jumping out at me, if you've been down Talbot Road or in Blackpool uh, Town Centre on a Friday or Saturday night, you'll see people spilling out of pubs and clubs and a bit further down, there's pretty much nothing between coming out of places like Trilogy straight onto the, top, the, uh, the tram tracks. So the road's quite quiet today. I'm quite surprised at this. But as you can tell, the cars and the trams <coughs> are actually sharing the same uh, road space. So this was one of the reasons why a lot of the tram services in Blackpool actually stopped over the last, well, from around about the 1960s. Quite a lot of the tram, uh, the tram routes stopped going through the actual uh, roads because they found that there was too much congestion. The town looks quite busy today, actually, it's quite good. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot, too, bit too much congestion with cars and bikes and the trams. Well, roll on. Best part of 60 years, they're going to try it again. So I'm just up by the, the station pub now. And coming out of there, there's no actual drop curb. It's out of there, on the pavement, straight onto the tram tracks. I'm sorry Blackpool Council, but I think that is a bit of an accident waiting to happen. So one of the things that they've actually done, and these have been, uh, been here for a bit now really, but they've got loading bays, because the tram tracks have come back, they've put loading bays in, they've cut the pavement down to virtually single line. So if you're coming down here with a buggy now, it's hard work. And again, there's no curb as such. Until we get to what is actually the, uh, I think it's the actual tram stop outside the trilogy. So I'm down by a little black pug. A few people enjoying a few beers in the sunshine. So I'm down by a little black pug and the Trilogy nightclub. So this will actually be the first stop. And this is a high curb again. So I think this is uh, accident waiting to happen. So this is the, uh, the Talbot Square tram stop. Opposite North Pier, always busy at weekend. So while there's not a tram about yet. I'm going to get down and actually look at the height of this. There. Yeah. I 
I'm hoping I'm just being a bit. I'm hoping I'm just being a bit pessimistic when I'm saying it, it's uh, it's an accident waiting to happen. So the positives. What do I think of the positives that the uh, the new tram line is going to bring to Blackpool? So let's have a see. Back in the late 80s, Blackpool opened Needham Way. So for those who come to Blackpool now, be a local or be a visiting, you come into Blackpool by Needham Way. Before that was opened, a lot of people used to come in by coach and park at the coach park at Rigby Road. So that's where the, the actual tram stop is now, the tram depot or the old tram depot. So that moved there, that opened back in the 60s, which was actually the start of a lot of the tramways closing down. And uh, so we had the Coliseum bus station. When Eden Way opened, that pretty much disappeared. And it was also the start of the death of the South Shore area of Blackpool. It was no longer with people getting off the coach and going to them hotels. They were coming into town. So yeah, it was good for Blackpool uh, Town Centre. Well, it should have been, but other things uh, changed that. I think the rise of the internet and, and internet shopping kind of uh, damaged that more than anything, and the stag do's and hen do's. So, with the new tram line opening, say on the 16th of uh, June 2024, what's it going to do to uh, the South Shore area? So. A bit like with the bus, with the uh, a bit like with the taxis, people are going to dive on the uh, the trams. That's the purpose of them. Going to come down to promenade, and then they can pretty much take a tram ride direct from the train station, direct to one of the uh, tram stops along the promenade, and this where their uh, their hotels are. So hopefully. And this is going to be the big, big positive in my eyes. I'm hoping that it will be the start of the regeneration of the South Shore area of Blackpool. So from Central Pier through to the Pleasure Beach has, uh, has been in decline for the last 30 years. So let's see. Let's see what that does. So if you come into town, especially on a day like today, it is busy. Pubs are, uh, are getting filled up, people are enjoying the sunshine. I have to say I wasn't expecting the sunshine today. I was expecting winds and rain, but you know, it's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful day in Blackpool. So I'm hoping they look at the sky. I'm hoping it's uh, it's in for the weekend. So, yes, the positives. It is going to hopefully improve what is uh, much needed uh, traffic through to the South Shore area. And then hopefully the negatives uh, will get outweighed by that. Unless you're going to be one of the unfortunate ones who, who gets injured by tram. I'm hoping it's not going to be uh, any Alan Brad, any uh, Alan, I want to say Bradbury. I can't remember the character's name from uh, from Coronation Street, who got hit by a tram all them uh, years ago. One of the famous uh, scenes from Blackpool that was on Coronation Street. So what I would like, I'd like your comments to see what you actually think of the tramway opening back up, say, opened 123 years ago, pretty much the day. So it was June the 18th, 1901. And then op opening, me opening back up, 123 years, less two days, to a completely new world. Let me know in the comments.